Hello and welcome to Record Women, a brand new fortnightly show featuring all the issues that affect you, as well as the latest showbiz news and celeb interviews. Here's what's coming up on today's show. Meet the fairy bod mother who will sprinkle her magic and get you into shape for summer. Bev Lyons catches up with singer Claire Grogan at Glasgow's I Write Festival. And are you a lady who lunches? Michelle McManus and Kat Harvey certainly are as they raise money for Chaz. First on the show, I don't know any woman who doesn't wish she could have a magic wand to make her confident and more slimmer. Well, if you live near Dumfries, help is at hand. Meet the fairy bodmother. Kim Harkness is known in Dumfries and Galloway as the fairy bodmother. And with her stunning figure and body confidence, it's easy to see why women are flocking to her for help. We educate them and we train them on how to look at food differently and how to add additional activity in their lifestyles. So what, what I do is I mainly see them for a couple of hours a week if they come a class basis or a one-to-one -one basis, but I provide them with the tools to look after themselves out with. And that's why there's so many successes, because they're changing their lives, actually, and they're changing their lifestyle choices. These three women are just some of the fairy bodmother success stories who've lost weight and are feeling great about themselves. They say Kim's help has been life-changing. I've lost, I've lost five and a half stone altogether, and I've lost two stone when I've went to fairy bodmother. Um, just basically changed my shape, toned up, kind of thing, and uh, lost, got much more confidence and fitter and stuff. So. I started with fairy bodmother in January 2012, um, and I've lost around three and a half stone. Kim's programme takes eight weeks to complete as she aims to help people break bad habits and adopt a new lifestyle. You could go on a diet, but your body will end up failing, it'll end up backfiring. So what you need to do is you need to make long-term changes. The body takes about three weeks, 21 days to recognise a change, so to change a habit. So if you work really hard for those three weeks, the habit then becomes a reality. So what are Kim's top tips to getting the body we've always dreamed of? The top tips is wake up skinny. See if you wake up in the morning and you think you're fat, how are you going to eat? You're going to eat like a fat person, you know? So if you wake up in the morning and you're body confident and you're proud of what you've achieved, you choose the direction of your food choices and your activity very, very differently. So my top tip would actually to be wake up and think, I'm beautiful, I'm confident and I'm slim. And your day will go very differently. It seems hard work definitely pays off then. Well, another woman who isn't afraid of some hard work is singer Claire Grogan. Bev Lyons went along to meet her at Glasgow's I Write Festival, where she's promoting a new book. Claire Grogan, Altered Images, Gregory's Girl and much, much more. But today we're here for Harry Papadopoulos and his new book. Yes, we are. It is a really, really stunning book that my good friend Ken McCluskey has helped to put together. Because sometimes in life you forget about the like the little treasures that are right very close to you, but you you lose them somewhere. And Ken has kind of reintroduced us all again to this beautiful body of work that Harry has done, and I just happen to be part of it. Okay, now the book um, has many interesting photos mm -hmm. in it, and there's a particular one of you with an umbrella. I think you're sitting yeah. on a bench. I'm sitting in a bench in the pouring rain outside our record company offices in Soho in London and I look like I'm trying to be really cool and slightly enigmatic and posing and actually I'm just in a really bad mood because it was the last thing that I wanted to be doing sitting in the rain having my photograph taken and um, you know you have to remember back then there was no stylists, there was no makeup people. I just got off a boat from Belgium, driven to London, and I was sitting there going, Harry, would you hurry up? You know. So was this a bit of the diva in you? <laughs> yeah, it's there. Um, thank goodness. What's the point being a lead singer if you don't have a diva moment or two? Um, but it has really and truly become one of my favourite images of myself and I've had zillions of photographs taken over the years and I just love it. I think he really captured me in the mood I was in. Now in every show we're going to feature one woman who deserves that special bit of recognition. Bev Lines joins me now. Bev, who's your Woman of the Week? I thought you were talking about me there. Maybe next week. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> uh, yes, our Woman of the Week this week is a woman called Susie Wolfe. And she's 30 years old. She's from Oban originally, although she now lives in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And she is a racing driver. 
a racing driver, a woman it, racing driver. It's a bit of a man's ask. world, surely. Well, this is it. Although, if you look at the history books, um, about four women in track time have actually made it to, or yeah. to the Formula One circuit. But the reason that Susie Wolfe has come to the fore this week is because of a man called Sterling Moss, that veteran racing driver who has decided that women have don't have the mental capacity uh, to make it in the world of Formula One racing. Which is a bit rude, let's face it, but she has given as good as she got, hasn't yeah, she? Yeah, slightly misogynistic remark from Sterling there, but Susie is indeed flying the flag for Scotland and beyond. I mean, she has, they've, they've put her in a pink car, which isn't mm, great. That's not great, let's face it. And she admits it's not great, but the, the point is a lot of men don't like to be beaten by somebody driving a pink car, particularly <laughs> not a woman. Uh, but, you know, she's already on the Formula One circuit as a test driver, and the next step up is to be a Formula One racer. So she is our Woman of the Week. She certainly is. Well, thanks for the moment, Bev. Now, we all like a get-together with our ghetto friends. Well, Chaz are hoping you and your friends can get along to Michelle McManus and Kat Harvey next month at a Ladies Who Lunch event. Well, we went along to meet them. It's going to be a party with a difference as Kat and Michelle prepare to celebrate Chaz's 21st birthday next month. You know, no child in Scotland, no family should ever have to go through what some of these families are going through. But if they are going to go through it, then let's hope that Chaz and an organisation like Chaz is always around to support that family because the work they do is just, it honestly took my breath away when I was up at the house. It's just phenomenal. On May the 10th, Oren Moore in Glasgow will play host to a special Ladies Who Lunch event which aims to raise money for the charity. Well, first of all, we hope that the ladies that do come to the Chaz event have a lovely, lovely day. Um, ladies' lunches are notoriously wild. People can pretend that they're sitting there all nice and polite, but it's not. It's mental. It's an excuse for the mums and their friends to go a wee bit mental on a Friday afternoon. But at the end of the day, the one thing we need to do is try and raise as much money as possible for Chaz. Hundreds of women are expected to attend the event, but who would Kat and Michelle really like to have lunch with? David Tennant or someone or Brad Pitt just to figure out, just to give me a rough idea of when we're going to get married, just so I know to plan in advance and lose the weight that I need to lose to get into that dress so that we can go off and live in Beverly Hills somewhere, probably one of those two. Oh, Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Why? Why not? <laughs> and if you want to head along to that Chaz Bash, you can get more information at chaz.org.uk. Glasgow was awash with celebrities over the weekend for the annual Young Scott Awards. We sent Carla Callahan onto the red carpet to get the gossip. Who are you here to see? Supernova! We're joined by Supernova, who the crowds are going absolutely mental for. I can't hear it. I'm so scared. Are you looking forward to tonight? What was it? Very much so. We, we, we made these posters for the occasion. These guys. They're pretty cool, man. These, 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 these people are amazing. Like, these are super fans. They're so amazing. And we are joined by two members of 911. Hello. Nice to be here. Hello. Nice to Hi. see you. Excellent. Are you looking forward to tonight? I cannot wait, actually. We, we didn't even know about this until like four hours ago. So like we're privileged to be like we're gonna be presenting the award, so that's great like. You have been a real surprise for the crowd tonight. They're going absolutely mad for yeah, you. Yeah, I think I mean obviously we're up in Glasgow because we've been here for the weekend writing for the new album, so and then we suddenly got a call to come here, so I think it's a surprise to everybody because we weren't expecting it. Are you looking forward to tonight? I'm loving it, yeah. Last year was the most amazing night, such inspirational stories and just to see all the young people out having a great time and, and getting a chance to get dressed up and like rewarded for the things yeah. that, that they do. They all just have such a great time. It's a bit mental. Oh, this is crazy. Arch from Tabby, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm really well, thank you. Yourself? Are you? I'm very good. Excellent. <laughs> it's not raining. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful evening. Um, you know, I'm very. It's a, yeah, it's, it's a privilege to be. You know, um, um, on Bath, the only way, the past, the only way is Essex. It's, a, it's not to be here tonight. It's nice to. You know, the Scottish people have always been very friendly to me whenever I've come up here. So. Um, Right, time now to find out what's happening in the world of showbiz with Bev. I think Carla's got a bit of a fancy fit arse there. I think if she wants to get with them, she'll have to slap on a bit more tan. <laughs> Just a bit more. Shut up! <laughs> Obviously, the Young Scott Awards, a big event in Glasgow this week. Yeah, fantastic. And of course, a, a real great calibre of celebs yeah. that it's attracted now for a great Scottish event. But of course, the real stars are indeed the kids mm -hmm. um, that have done so well, the young people, uh, whether they've been bullied at school, whether they've achieved great things in business, whether they've 
they've survived abuse, uh, you know, they are uh, the, the real great young Scots. From one award show to another, one woman who's making the headlines this week, Michael Bublé's pregnant wife. She is stunning. Oh, He's the cat that's got Luciana. the cream. Luciana, <laughs> well, you know, she's she's been known for uh, stripping to her lingerie before. We've seen it. It's not just been for Bublé's eyes, uh, of course, because she, she did some bra modelling, mm -hmm. didn't she, yeah. for Michelle Moan. Um, so we own a little part of her, but we also own a bit of Bubbly, I think. Because he <laughs> I don't mind a bit of Bubbly. He's bubblish as Bubbly, <laughs> isn't he? He never loses his flavour, so that's fantastic. And uh, of course, he's doing extremely well. He's got a number one album, yeah. I think, a third album as well. So he just he never loses it. He's smooth. And if you ever meet him, he'll give you a kiss. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Leona Lewis, she's in Glasgow this week as well, isn't she? That's right. Yes, she is at the SECC. And of course, uh, the last time that she was here, I think I was dispatched to various fields to find her, which sounds a bit odd, but she is into horse riding. Uh, so I had to go out there with my jodhpurs on looking for her. I never did find her, but I'm sure this time we'll catch her. Uh, the question with Leona is, I mean, she's she's doing absolutely brilliantly. Yeah. She's bleeding love. We're bleeding love back all over her. Uh, she's survived. She's like a Latter-day Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm, yeah. But has she had a nose job? Well, who knows? Only time will tell. <laughs> Someone who doesn't need plastic surgery, Mylene Class. Now, she's making traffic stop in Glasgow this week with this huge billboard it's in her bikini. Massive, it's massive, isn't it? Huge. In the centre of Glasgow, just near Central Station. And of course, we saw the bikini on I'm a Celeb, and now we're seeing it again. But uh, it's, this time it's been updated, modernised, and it's a bit of an advertising campaign. But she can do no wrong, my class. Yeah, she's awesome. She's gorgeous. Well, thank you for joining me, Bev. Well, that's all we've got time for on today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. From the team here at Record Women, bye-bye for now.